What happens when you Google your first and last name? Go to Google, put in your first name, your last name, and hit enter and see what pulls up. Is it your LinkedIn profile, number one? That's what happens for me when you Google mine. And that has to do with the fact that I'm pretty active on LinkedIn and I have my exact full name on LinkedIn. If you're using a first name with a last initial on LinkedIn, it's not gonna pull for you because it doesn't have the connection. Uh, and if you see results, look through your results, first page, second page, third page. You can go deeper if you want, but the first page and the second page and third page are the most important. Go through there and just see is it all things that I want people to be able to see about me? Is it the story I want to tell? Because we actually do have some relative amount of control over what shows up in those results. And what I mean by that is you can create pieces, new profiles or places on websites that are going to show up in these indexes. So if you have things in your search that you don't necessarily want to be a part of your story, what you need to do is create new pieces that are gonna push those down and eliminate them. Additionally, there's a lot of weird websites out there that will index people's all kinds of different results. You know, you got a speeding ticket or whatever and they, they, you had to show up in court and now it wants to index that. Well, you can go to those websites that show those and you can request, send an email request, I'd like you to remove me because it's illegal for them to put your information out there if you tell them you don't want it on their website. So you can do that to clean up those things that you don't want and then you can put, add lots of new indexes for the stuff that you do want to show. So that's my advice. Make sure that your name is exactly how you want to show up online because people do Google your name. Joe Fuel with Skypoint Studios. Thank you for watching.